Yo guys, welcome to a little video that I'm going to be doing right now. We've actually got Paul, who you saw the other day, the detailer, coming down to clean this for me. Because we are going to Ultimate Stance this weekend. We've got a stand there, it should be fun. We're, right, we're going to be selling all the, the new merch. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, pretty sweet. Yours won't be covered in dog hair, don't worry. But yeah, I just thought right now, while well, I've got you for 10 minutes before he turns up, that I would show you around my EK9. I've been driving it around now for about, well, two weeks. I've done some really long journeys in it and I've had a blast. So I just wanted to show you it right now at the very start of the build, I guess. And what we're going to change, what the faults are on it, because there are quite a few which are finding out, but nothing, nothing major, nothing that I can really whinge about. So, yeah, let's show you. So, let's have a look at this beautiful EK9. First thing that I'm going to have to get done, eventually, well, I say first thing, one of the main things I need to get done is this front bumper needs painting. As you can see, there's a little few scuffs on it there, and... It's actually, it looks like it's a slightly different colour, I don't know whether it ages weird on the on the plastics, but that's definitely needing to get, di to get done. I have ordered new headlights, but I haven't paid for them yet, so I need to see if we can clean these up, or um, order the new ones in and eventually get some money. Change the badges around, you might be able to see my new purchase. Sod it! So yeah, we've got that on now, it's just a bit of a joke, but it was funny, so why not. Uh, there's a mark on this wind with, uh, wing mirror up here. Which is annoying. Um, oh my goodness me, I need to roll the car off of that step. Hang on. Hey! Oh my god, and everybody cries! The front wheels need pumping up. Like, I do need to go do that sort of stuff. I've like, just been absolutely hooning. I can't help myself. It's too much fun. Anyway, yeah, the whole car needs like, little bits like this. And I was just going to plastic it these black again. Because I don't know if you can get replacements. I need to buy new ones of these because they're folded up a little bit. Need to... Uh, Get the arches treated, not cut out, I don't think, but that you see the rust there. There's a little bit of surface rust, I think we can get that rubbed back. Uh, new badge there on the back needs to go on. Need to put the floor back in the boot. This arch is the one that is weird. You see, it's a little bit like bubbly. Now, it's still got the original spot welds on, so I don't really know what's caused that other than water getting in between the seal that connects to the arch there. And then making it go, it's weird, and I'd like to just see if we can smooth that out and then treat the rust again. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, in here I've already done a modification. In here I've put the personal steering wheel on. Same ones in my DC5, but this is a bigger one. It's got an NRG uh, quick release on it already. And I've had it converted from kilometres to miles the other day by my friend Owen. Owen Williams. Uh, I'll chuck Owen's picture here of him doing it. Sick. Thank you, mate. And, um... And yeah, I want to give these Recaros a proper clean up at some point. I mean, they're not in the best condition. There's some little nicks down here and stuff like that, but it's still good. I've got the system again. I've been obviously I want to change that rip speed, fucking rip speed thing. But <coughs> I'll show you under here as well. Under here, it's all relatively standard still, like I showed you last time. I'm going to remove this today because I just think it looks turd and if the bolts aren't too bad we're gonna see I might have to come back later tonight and do it but I've got my toad manifold from my EG that I'd like to put on this and then I've got toad manifold, spoon centre pipe, spoon B pipe sound ridiculous obviously got the coilovers already on I've got a carbon strut brace we're gonna put on for now that I've got off my EG we're gonna kinda chuck some of the EG parts on we're gonna take all of these dirty old bolts off and all these old clips eventually and just brush them down to metal again and then paint them black to give them just a refresh so they don't look so shit. I mean look at that. That is rotten. So we're going to clean that all up. Sort that out. Uh, I need to put an oil cap on it because this is you know an old OEM one. Clean these brackets up mainly man. Like they just look shit. And yeah I just I just really want to clean it up. I, I literally cannot explain to you guys how much I enjoy driving this car. It truly is a joy and I, I just love it so I'm gonna tidy it all up and today Paul like I said is coming to clean it I just want to show you guys around it really and yeah I just really want you to see around it and I just love it I just love it so I'll obviously keep you all updated with the progress what do what would you do I'm not gonna ask you what I should do because I won't listen to you anyway but I would like to know what you would do if this EK9 was yours. Uh, I won't be case swapping it. Uh, like most of my other things, I want to just keep it how it, you know. I, I like time period correct stuff as well, so 
with this I want to keep the B16B in there and just have a riot with it and then I've got my Red EG that we're putting the B18C in which did arrive the other day but we haven't actually gone and collected yet and yeah but I hope you guys like my EK9 I adore it and I hope you'll uh, come check it out at Ultimate Stance I'm not quite sure when I'm posting this video live so you might actually be seeing this Saturday night Possibly seeing it the night before Ultimate Stance and you can come see this in the flesh at Ultimate Stance If it's already beyond that then then I hope you did see it if you didn't oh well and yeah We've got all our new merch on for sale like I said so yeah guys I hope you come check it out. What do you think leave me a comment down below? Do you like the UK 9 have you ever driven one? What's your thoughts on them? I just love this little car and I can't wait for Paul to get here and clean it up So yeah, hope you enjoyed the little walk around guys. We're doing much more detailed stuff very soon. Peace